Hey guys, how's it going? Lunath here, and welcome back to another episode of my Dragon Warrior 3 Let's Play series on the Game Boy Color. So in the last episode, we started up by going to the Shrine of Dharma, basically learned about being able to change class, which requires us to be level 20, which we're not yet, but we're getting close to, and then we might be able to change one or two characters to start trying out different classes and basically building up the character to being a lot stronger. We then went to the Tower of Garuna, where we basically got a... Zen book which is needed to change someone into a sage and then after that we went to the town of Muir where we got mistaken for being this guy called Pok Pok Pokopa I believe it was uh, eventually someone realized that we were or told us that Pokopa Pokopa sorry was uh, a guy called Ortega and worked out that we were his son and gave us Ortega's helmet which is a really nice item that we put onto Loon Gave quite a lot more defense in his current helmet, so it was a nice little upgrade. Alright, let's go make our way out of here for now though, because in this episode we need to start trying to work on getting this item called the final key, which will open some of the remaining doors that we cannot open yet. So we'll make our way out of here. First, we're just going to go down to this little shrine, have a little look around, have a little talk around. Oh, I think I just walked out of the shrine. I thought I was going the correct way, but I went the wrong way. So we can't go in here yet because we haven't got that final key. Make our way up this place, have a little look around. Oops. Speak to this person. It was smart of you to come here. I've sailed the world seas. I'll tell you about the world. Sail south, d down along the coast. You're around the Cape of Tidanki. Far to the Cape's east is Lancel and beyond it is Elian. Far to the north of Elian, is Zipangu, the country of gold. Also, there are six orbs all over the world. If you collect them all, you won't need a ship anymore. But first, you should sail south. Take note of what I said. Alright. So basically, he's giving us an indication of where we should go, and that we also need to probably collect these six orbs eventually. I think that's kind of one of our main objectives. Uh, next, what we're going to do now is let's cast Return. Gonna make our way to Baharata. And we need to go find our ship, jump on it. We're gonna do exactly what that guy said to some degree and make our way south. We're not gonna go to Tadanki though, we're gonna make our way south to Lancel. Okay, let's do some fighting. Gonna spam all my attacks on the jellyfish. Probably should have done a cast with Nina actually. But yeah, after having gotten the um, Shrine of Dharma yesterday, or not yesterday, well, it was yesterday for me, but um, yeah, having got to the Shrine of Dharma in the last episode, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work out how I'm going to build up my party. And I think I'm mostly going to focus on getting Ark to being a really strong fighter by swapping him between, between being a fighter and a soldier to kind of build up his stats. I think I'm going to try and make Nina become a sage eventually once she's got um, a few more of the spells from being a mage and just gotten more uh, stats as well and I think I'll be turning not so sh not sure exactly what I want to do with uh, Yuna but Yuna I'll probably look at turning eventually into a soldier but I'm not sure yet I'll work that one out right let's speak to this person this is Lancel it's a small village hello the village is small but the temple is big that's why we get a lot of visitors. Okay, so let's uh, stay at the inn, why not? Let me just have a little look around. Try and uh, collect any items that are possibly around, speak to people. Darn it all! There's no big temple anywhere. It's supposed to be in the village. Am I not looking hard enough? This is an item shop, how may I serve you? Okay, so the reason why we come here is we need to buy some hide herbs. I'm gonna buy three. Um, let's just put them on. Let's just put them in the bag. Uh, we, no, we're done. We don't need anything else. Oops, didn't mean to open the inventory. 
I'm travelling in search of the final key. I've heard that a vase is necessary to find the key. But what could that mean? Is the key inside a vase? Or vase? I sell weapons and armour. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to just quickly ever see what you've got. So he's got a power fist, which is the exact same damage for arc, but probably only hits one target. Um, evade armor is bad. Magic robes and magic armor is good. So probably want to buy a couple of those. The iron mask is a downgrade. Let's just buy two of these then. I think these also make them a bit more resistant to magical attacks. I think I need to actually clean up the inventory a little bit first. Yeah, so I think this boosts or the magic armor actually reduces magic damage taken by a bit. I'm not sure by how much. Um, but hopefully enough to make a bit of a difference when it comes to being attacked by spells. Okay, let's equip that to Yuna. Okay, so we've got ourselves two magic armor now. Uh, I could probably sell off the... Um, Extra armor bits I have actually. Don't need the steel armor anymore. And I'll sell whatever Yuna had. Uh, a skirt. Okay, so let's make our way back out of that place. We'll go talk to. Nope, we'll look underfoot apparently. I'm the item dealer's daughter. Please buy some hide herbs. It's a magic herb that makes you invisible. You'll find it beneficial. Ah, we've already got some, so we're good. And let's have a look in here. And we've got a token, nice. Let's have a look in here. Ah, just checking ourselves out in the mirror. Ooh, let's try and walk around the cat. Loon peered into the vase, but there was nothing. Could do with the uh, cat potentially moving out of the way so I can check the other vase. Or is it going to stay blocking it? Excuse me. There we go. Got 5G. Okay, that wasn't actually worth waiting for, but... Alright, so... Are we done here? I think we might be done here for now. Yeah, there's definitely nothing more in there, is there? Pretty sure we'll end up coming back here later anyway, so... For now we've got the hide herb, which is what we came for, so we're going to make our way back outside. We're going to cast return again. And we're going to go back to uh, Portugal. jump on our ship. Now we're actually going to make our way to the north. It's going to kind of semi-follow the coast around a little bit and then just go up. Okay, let's attack the mermen. Cast a bang, I think, with Nina. Attack with everyone, might as well. Okay, we'll keep going up. And this is where we want to be. We're just going to go to the right side and get up here. Oh, these are some tougher looking enemies. A cure and a couple of witches. Let's get rid of the, the witches if we can. Use a fire bane on them as well. Let's 
Okay, that was a nice crit by Yuna. Okay, monsters were defeated. Make our way into this castle. Now, let's have a little look around. Halt! This is Edinburgh, a castle of high pedigree. Bumpkins, go home. Ah, oh, is he not going to let me in? Oh, that's not cool. And what we might want to do, I believe what we should be doing is... If I go to the bag, gonna use those hide herbs we bought now. Loon's hide herb was sprinkled on. Let just walk past and then. Wonder if I speak to people that I get kicked out. What? I must be hearing things. Oh, of course, yeah, we are kind of invisible right now. And the effects wore off. Okay, so we're going to this little room, or we went down some stairs to the left, and we've got this kind of little puzzle thing. I'm going to push this rock to the right. Didn't mean to push it into the water. Let's go do that again. <laughs> okay, back down the stairs. Round two. So I tell you what, let's push that up one, push that right one. Okay, I, I didn't realise I could push it into that water as well. I need to be a little bit more cautious with this. I'm clearly struggling. Just do one step at a time. Okay, so we'll push this one into place first. Then we'll go here and push that one there. And push that to there. Oh, and then I need to go around it this way, don't I? Then the last rock will just go down here. Do the exact same as we did with the last one. Push it up. Take it nice and slow. Don't want to go and push it into the water again. And there we go. We should have now unlocked a little secret bit, I think, behind. And we opened the chest and we found a dry vase. Wonderful. Okay, now we've got the dry vase, which is kind of what we came here for. We're going to explore the rest of the castle, see what there is. Okay, if I speak to a guard, do I get thrown out or anything? My, my, the castle watch tires me out. Ah, to rest, to rest. Okay, seems okay. Greetings to you, bumpkins. I hear there is a vase somewhere, which makes the sea dry up. Eh, it's in this castle? Really? Eh? That's the very vase? Oh my. I hear that a shrine sank into the sea long ago. It's a part of the show now. Just think of the treasures it must contain. It makes me excited. I heard... So, you are the so-called bumpkins. You must tell me about your life as bumpkins back home. Wow. Word goes around quick, doesn't it? Hello, the king is up the stairs. Oh, we'll go up the stairs then. Be deferential towards the king. Uh, let's speak to the king. I am a magnam... I am a magnanimous soul. I shall not mock you for being a bumpkin. Okay, and he's going to tell me experience we need. Do we want to record our journey's progress? Um, sure, why not? We'll just save over the top one. Do 
do we intend to leave right away? Yes, we do. What? You want to solve the basement riddle? The dry vase? Ah! That may be what the king two generations before myself hid away. I can't imagine it being important. You may keep it. Wahaha. <laughs> Far away on the western sea is the new world of the SOO? Or SU. SU? SO? Something like that. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here. Speak to some people. Our king is a magnanimous soul. He may even deign to speak to bumpkins like you. He's a kind king then. So, where are we now? Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Can I go down here? No. Go down the staircase then. Oh, I haven't seen you before. Are you travellers? Yes. I knew right away from the way you're dressed. And your bumpkins. How can they tell so easily that we're bumpkins? There are three boulders in the castle's basement. If they're lined up properly in the blue floor, then something happens. If you fail, just step out. You can try it from the start again. Okay, cool. Let's make our way back in. I think we've explored most of the castle now, haven't we? Yeah, let's make our way back out to the left. There was still a little bit of the castle we hadn't explored downstairs, we could probably look around. Going to here. This is the king and princess's chamber. Don't go in without reason. Wait, do they share the same room? Oh, we've got a party dress. Nice. Look inside the dresser. Oh, we got a dandy, dandy jacket or suit or whatever. Let's have a look at if those are any good. I'm probably gonna guess they're not, but they are. So that'd be a terrible guess. Okay, only Art can use the dandy, dandy top. And then let's see if anyone can use the party dress. Probably one of the girls. No. Nope, no one could use it. Okay, Loon checked the bookshelf and we got Lady. The Lady Book. Okay, let's just check the left side, I think. I think that's everything now, isn't it? Oh, is that a door down here? Let's go check that. Haha, <laughs> I know something. The final key is in a shrine. Okay, so, I think we're done here. Gonna make our way back outside. Oh man, he won't let me back in. I just walked past him on the way out. He must, must have not recognised him, must not have realised. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna probably go cast, return. We're gonna go back to Alien, or Aliahan. Gonna go stay. Well, basically the rest up. Guess we could probably just stay at our own place to rest up. Spend no money then. Welcome home, dear Loon. You must be tired. I've made your bed. Your friends should rest too. Cool. Go back outside. And then we need to go get on our boat. And if we go about here, I think, and then we're just going to go down for a very long time. Fingers crossed we should, fingers crossed we should eventually hit the shoals. Which is where we can then use the dry vase to dry up the sea and reveal a shrine. Ok, 
Okay, let's keep going down. Now, if I've lined things up incorrectly, I might miss the shells and just end up hitting some land, in which case, I just have to basically try and adjust my position and go back up again. Looks like I, wait, I think I went too far right. I'm gonna go left a little bit and go up. Yeah, here we go. I must have just gone a little bit too far right. In fact, I probably didn't even need to go right from the looks of things when I went out the little uh, mouth of the area I was going out of. But anyway, um, so now we need to find the where's the drive bars for my inventory. Let's use that. Arx drive ours was floated. And there we go. A shrine. Let's make our way into the shrine. And we open the chest and we've got the final key. There we go. So that's the final key. Collected. See, is there anything behind this door? I speak of the ancients. South of Isis Desert, in the mountains of Gondo Gapes, the giant pit. It is thence that evil came. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back into my ship. Oh. Is that us done? Guess that's us done then. Going back to his previous form. Now I'm going to go to the left here. Follow this around. Go along this river. I'm going to skip that shrine. For now at least. Oh wait, actually no, we should go back and check it out. Because I actually don't know what's there. So worth having a little look. Some nice experience from these fights, actually. Okay, what's in here? There's a dog. That's a cat. Meow. Meow? Fine, go south. Search the middle of four mountains. Wait, what? Meow, no? Meow. Okay. Speak to this person. Ah, travelling, are you? You remind me of my youth. In the past, I accompanied a hero by the name of Ortega. He is said to have perished in a fall into the mouth of a volcano, but I refuse to believe that. I'd be sad if that's true. Okay, let's jump back on our ship. Let's start making our way left here. Squeeze this little gap. Okay, so it looks like we can't keep going that way. I'm just going to quickly double check what this is because I need to. Oh, I'm just interested. Oh, hello. Welcome to our inn. Ah, oh, yeah, we can spend the night here. Why not? Let's have a little explore. 
Oh, I don't want to start walking into random things. I'm not exactly sure where they go. This wasn't where I intended to come. Just want to quickly investigate. This is Olivia Cape. Olivia is said to have leapt to her death here when she heard of her lover's death in a storm. But she can't find peace in death. So she calls back passing ships. If someone were to present her soul with a memento of her lover Eric, her soul should rise to heaven. It's rumoured that Eric's ship roams the seas as a ghost ship. Ah yes, we'll be doing some of that stuff later. Let's get out of here though. Because the reason for coming along here, and we're obviously going to have to park our ship up here and then walk a bit, is that cave to our left is what we're going for. Oh, this is going to be a tough fight. Okay, let's um, try to take out the Avengers. Dang, he hit for 37. Oh no, why is the bird got to have healing? It's going to make this fight. Oh, he ran. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind the bird running away. Oh, don't call for help. Although I did just manage to defeat one, so hopefully these other two should go down quick and then I can just take down the one remaining. Okay, I hope they don't kill Loon. Kind of praying. Oh, please stop calling for help. Okay, let's do a, um, see if we can get a heal more done on Loon. Don't hit Loon, don't hit Loon, don't hit Loon, you hit Loon. Oh, that complicates things a lot now. I'll cross promoted to level 19. Because I was going to go in here. Hello. Hmm. I'd heard of a spring inhabited by a spirit. It doesn't appear to be here. I wonder what happens. This is a Pashissi part uh, track thing. Which I was going to do, but obviously normally you do it as Loon. So let's see what happens. The Traveller's Pashissi track welcomes you. You can try for a single token. Would you like to try Pashissi? Yes. Fine, that'll be one token. You have 20 rolls of the die on this course. Good luck. Okay, it looks like I just simply play his arc then. So be it. Oh, nice. Uh, we won't be checking underfoot. I don't want to risk running into a fight with any enemies. Obviously, we've just run into a fight with some enemies. Fortunately, Ark isn't too weak, so hopefully I can... That's fine if they want to run away. This is basically the third Pashissi track we've gotten to. And there is a nice reward at the end that I kind of want to get. So let's roll again. We've got an extra roll. Okay, let's go right. And we won't be checking under foot again. It's going to play it safe. Oh, nice. Welcome to my inn. Isn't it tiring travelling alone? It's 200G to stay. No, we don't actually need to rest. Ark is fairly well on full health, I think. Oh, we're making very quick progress around this board. Obviously, the main concern is coming across a trap door or something. Or maybe some really tough enemies. Fortunately, these are not tough enemies at all. OK, 
Okay, let's do another roll. Oh, we've definitely got no shortage of rolls at the moment. Advance forward three spaces. Let's open it up. We've got another party dress. Oh, what's this going to do? A sinister voice echoes somewhere. Picture of a spring deep in a forest. May the goddess of fortune bless you. Arcs are closed by four. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. HP and MP rows. I have to go up, 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 up. And back three spaces. We will not be checking underfoot. Let's do a roll. Oh no, we lost the roll. Let's roll a nice big juicy number now, please. That's a one. Well, this is not good. Now I'm starting to run low on rolls. Now I'm running really low on rolls. Please, roll better than a one, please. Ah, oh, is this actually taking the mick? We'll check on the foot then and get the gold. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll take out the cat flies first, I think. I feel like they cast some kind of spell that might be annoying. Oh, they might cast Stop Spell, which isn't really an issue for Ark, if that's the annoying spell I'm thinking of. Okay, so we've got two rolls left, and I'm not too sure how much further we have to go. We probably need to get a little bit of luck now with the rolls. If we're going to get to the end of the track this time round. We have got multiple tokens, though, so we can obviously have a few cracks at it. Okay, let's do a roll. Big roll, please. That's not big. Uh, just going to check the map, see how far we've even got to go. Oh, I can't even make it. It's actually so far. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have no rolls left. We were absolutely destroyed by that one little section. Oh, yeah, I need to go back out and back in to get the uh, take to update. I also probably need to heal up. So we'll go down the stairs and back up and we'll try again. See if we get a bit more fortunate with our progression. Not sure how many tokens I have, I think I must have about three or four more still, so just keep going for it. Oops, there we go down here. Again I won't be checking underfoot. Uh, into a fight. At least the fights in this place are not too tough. They're like quite low level mobs that we're fighting. Oh, don't do that to me. Okay, good. We seem to have hit quite well, even though we've been fogged. Oh, nice. Take every medal we can get. Okay, we'll open this up. Got a turban. But we are rolling a lot of ones and stuff, and considering we need to get around the board quick. Really bad. Okay, nice. Six. That's some good progress. Oh, and a bug powder. I didn't mean to check on the foot, that I was just mashing my button. But we'll take the bug powder. 
Ouch. Check it as well. Got a silver helmet of some kind. Trap door. No. Wait, how many tokens do I have? Let me just check. Still got five, okay. I was gonna say, if uh, my luck isn't too good, I probably wanna go save it and <laughs> kind of come back, potentially. We'll do two more attempts. If I don't get to the end in two more attempts, then I'll probably just end this episode and um, basically do it where I can just keep loading it in until I finally get it. Hopefully we'll have to do that though, and hopefully we can get there in the next couple of attempts. Definitely is easier if we can get there in the next two attempts. So let's take out the mystifiers. Ah, oh, don't increase defense too much. And now I'm confused. So now I just play, I don't hit myself. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I should have healed up before starting this one. I realized my health is kind of low already. That could have gone a lot worse, that fight. Wow, 570G though. Oh yeah, it's because I had a trick bag and it didn't it, so... Everybody got what's in there, in that drawer. These rolls are so bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind them running away. Especially since I'd forgotten to heal, so my health is already getting kind of low. Should probably check if I've got any herbs in my inventory, because I probably do. Oh, I cannot access my inventory in this. No. Oh, some gold. That's nice, an extra roll. Okay, so if we go this way, we go into a warp thing. If we go this way, it's an empty space. Down here is also a warp thing. Let's just go on a warp thing, see what happens. And we end up on a trap door. No! Oh, this is not going well. Okay, let's do a healing at least. Okay, we'll try one more time. It doesn't work out. I'll go save it and then I'll just get basically get it done and just show you when I get to the end. Okay, let's start. And roll. Oh, at least we landed on a vase this time. Got a strength seed, nice. Now these rolls are a little bit better at least. Oh, these rolls are good. We're making quick progress. Uh, let's check out the Venom Worm first. Nice, that's fine. We will not check underfoot. Oh, nice. 
We're moving quick at least. I just need to avoid trap doors and stuff and obviously hope we don't get too much bad luck. I mean that's really good luck. 16 rolls now at this point. Okay, yeah, we, we've got tons of rolls. We'd have to have really bad luck to not succeed in terms of that. It's just that trapdoor that's two spaces ahead of me I'm scared of now. Come on, just a good roll, please. Okay, not a one. That's fine. Open the chest. Got a skirt, nice. Please don't be bad. Art stats change. Roll the die. Agility went. Six points. Oh, wow, nice. That's really nice. It's a good run, so far. And these just get one shot because they're low level. Okay, let's do another roll. No, we won't check underfoot. Let me just check the map. I want to see what is still remaining. There is still a trap door. That's not pleasant. Can you check inside? Oh, nice, a tiny medal. Big roll. Four. Oh, that's good. Ones are not good. Dagger. Nice. Okay, six. That's a nice roll. That's not a nice roll. Oh, why is there a trap door here? <laughs> ah, no. Okay, well, what I'll do is I will... I'll go save it myself and come back and keep trying and I'll come back to you when I finally make it to the end. Alright, so I have landed on the shop icon on the Pashitty Pass and I can now buy some items from the shop which are pretty good for me. So it has a flame boomerang which is a two attack upgrade for Loon but it also has the benefit of hitting all targets not just a single group like a Swip does so I'm going to buy one of those and of course we'll give it to Loon and equip it. Also going to get, they've also got these uh, speed rings, I want to get four of these. Um, if I can get four, I'm not sure if it lets me buy four, but I'm sure it will. Because they're an accessory and they give 15 agility. Um, and that's really nice, so let's just chuck some in the bag. Okay, just need to buy one more. Okay, nice. I will continue this run. And let's see if we can... Uh, we can beat this thing. I will be honest though, I have been spending the last four hours trying to get to the end of this Pashissi Pass, uh, Pashissi Track, with no luck. I seem to be unable to move now. Oh, I need to roll. Um, yeah, I've been basically having no luck. Uh, got to the end quite a few times, but you have to land on the goal. And unfortunately, I've just been either going one short or one too far a lot of times, but not actually landed on it. Um, so I decided in the end to just, I've got an arc to level 20 now, so what I plan on doing, having now landed on the shop and got the, uh, the items from there that I wanted, I think we should basically finish this run, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky, um, but if we fail to finish it, we'll just continue on, um, without worrying about beating this, uh, Pashissi track. 
And the reason for wanting to beat this Pashissi, Pashissi track, sorry, is uh, at the end there is an item which is a, it's a Dragon Whip, I think it is. And I think it's the only item until like the very end of the game that you can get that hits a group of enemies for the fighter. So I was kind of hoping, or well my plan was to obviously get the whip, turn Ark into a fighter, and then use him with the whip to kind of make him an absolute monster of a, a character. Unfortunately, you know, unless I get success, unless I'm lucky this time around, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. So what I might do now, since I've got Ark to level 20 as well, whilst um, Whilst I was basically getting a little bit burnt out and trying to do these uh, Pashissi track runs, I got him to 20, so we can actually go and turn him into, I'll probably turn him into a warrior for now. Um, and have him just basically kind of sit on the front line and be more of a tank. So that's the plan at least. But we'll finish up this run. Maybe maybe the plan will change if I get lucky. Maybe we'll beat this. Uh, maybe we'll beat this thing. But I'm not feeling very hopeful right now. To be honest with you. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Got five more rolls. Should hopefully be able to get to the end and get one attempt at least at rolling to land on the uh, end mark. On the plus side, though, got some speed rings and a boomerang. So whatever be the case, whatever the outcome is from this attempt, I don't mind. Let's please roll a five. No, that's a one. Can we roll a four? No, that's a three. Can we roll a one? No, that's a two. Can I roll a one? Oh! Oh wow! Okay, I wasn't really planning for that. Okay, I've spent four hours doing this and I've got the shop and I've also got the win, all in the same one. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's make sure I grab our prizes. So we've got the Dragon Whip. Oh, that is such a big time save, actually. I was kind of having a bit of a downer, thinking, obviously, not getting that meant it was going to kind of slow down my plans a lot. And having spent four hours trying to do this thing without getting it was kind of so unlucky, but... Oh, that's insane. And an Agility Seed. All right, well... Let's jump down here. And like I said, I've got Ark at level 20 now. And he's got all of the thief spells. I'll just double check it, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he learned map magic, which I can... If I cast it. I haven't actually used it yet. It's meant to give me an indication of where... Uh, hidden treasures and stuff are. I have to use it somewhere where we know there's like a... Um, treasure or something. Anyway... Let's go cast the turn with Loon. We're going to go firstly to Dharma. And first thing I'm going to do is save it. Just just because I don't want anything to go wrong. Having managed to get the, uh, the Dragon Whip. So let's save it. And I will save it over, I guess, this one. Doesn't matter. Okay, I have just loaded in the save I literally just did. And the reason for doing that is because I went to turn Ark into a fighter. And he couldn't equip the Dragon Whip. Which confused me because the site I'm using says a fighter can use a Dragon Whip. I then tried changing him into a warrior, which the site says the... Uh, Warrior can't use a Dragon Whip, however it turns out it's actually the Warrior that can use a Dragon Whip. So I was intending to turn Ark into a Fighter and using the Dragon Whip on him. Of course, because the Fighter can't use a Dragon Whip, I'll actually turn him into a Warrior. And we'll actually... Let's go do that now. So we'll go turn him into a Warrior and basically equip the Dragon Whip onto him. And that would actually be probably better anyway because a Warrior gains... Strength, I think, is their primary stat, so we can get him really nice and beefy in terms of being able to dish out big damage and then swap him to a fighter later in the game. So let's talk to this guy. This is Dharma Temple. People gather here to switch classes. Do you wish to change class? Yes, we do. Who wishes to change class? We'll change Ark. And let's turn him into a warrior. So Ark wishes to be a warrior. Yes, please. 
Let me confirm, you are willing to train again from level 1? Yep. Oh god, we beg for your wise approval for Ark to take a new class. Fine, Ark is now a warrior. Ark's equipment from the previous class has all been removed. Anyone else wish to change, cl wish to change class? Nope. So let's also go check his stats out, so I believe he should have half, half the stats he had before levelling. I didn't obviously check them before, but... You know, considering this is level 1, I remember when I started the characters at level 1, they had like 10 health and about 10 strength and agility and stuff, so we're starting in such a strong spot right now. So hopefully once he gets a few level ups, he'll be pretty beefy. Let's see what items I can equip on him for now. And then once I've equipped what I can onto him, we can then... Okay, so I can equip the magic shield. And let's also go into the bag quickly to grab the dragon whip. And we'll swap that for the steel whip and equip it. And I think I'll also... Oops. I'll also make sure I give out the speed rings. So Ark wants one. We'll replace his tattoo with it. I think I'd rather the agility than the uh, strength that you gain from the tattoo. And we'll give Yuna one. And equip it. And of course, I'll also give Nina one. So while of course being a warrior will be quite tanky, so I'll probably put him in the front line fairly quickly. Uh, I'll obviously keep Loon there for now until Ark has gained a few levels. Uh, Loon, I did equip a speed ring onto. I think actually that was a little bit of a waste of money. Not doesn't cost too much, but I think we want to stick with the hero ring on him, just because then the uh, boomerang damage will be so nice. So we're looking pretty sorted. I am going to quickly go... Let's quickly go to Lancel, because I think Lancel's got some items that I can buy. It, You know, like I bought magic armor and stuff there, just to equip onto... Oh, Luna's got enough MP. Oh, I should have probably stayed at an inn. Uh, let's go to Lancel. Hopefully can buy some armor and bits for Ark. And then he should be pretty sorted. Can also probably sell some bits here as well. Let's do that. Because I need the money anyway. So, let's go Loon. We'll sell his speed ring. Yes. Yes. We're going to sell his steel whip. Let's do a sell from Ark and we'll sell party item yes wow 8850g actually That's crazy money so the black top we'll sell the antidote why not didn't actually mean to do that but sell his black hat got so many items to sell actually Sell the dandy armor. 9,900G. Why are these items worth so much? Hope I'm not selling anything super important. We sell the uh, rosary. Certainly no shortage of money now. I'm going to hold on to the toughness for now. Let's see. Uh, we'll sell this steel whip. What else do we have in the bag to sell? Uh, we'll hold on to one of the party items, I guess. We'll sell the skirt. Gonna sell the dagger. Gonna also sell the silver hat. And uh, there's also a turban in there I'll sell in there, and I think we're done selling. Let's do a quick buy. Okay, so Hammer does three more attack damage for Ark, but obviously it's single target, so not at all good. So Ark can use evade armor, but there's got to be better armor for him, surely. Yeah, magic armor. Get that on Ark. And an Iron Mask would also put on Ark. I 
I think that him he's now fully equipped, is he? Should be. Yes, he is. Okay, perfect. So let's make our way back out of here. We'll cast, we'll go return. We'll go back to Dharma. Yeah, we'll go Dharma. Quickly go stay at the inn. Go make my way to this guy. Let's save the game up. Yes, let's record it. And I'll save over the third one. Yep. Basically, that third slot is where I saved it as um, having. Arcus a fighter, but obviously we swapped him to being a warrior instead because uh, we want to be able to use that whip. Um, I think at this point now is probably a good point to end this episode, but what I'll probably do is before the next episode I'll just do some levelling on Ark um, whilst trying to get some medals and stuff. Um, do, do a little bit of levelling on Ark to kind of beef him up a little bit ready for the, ne uh, for the next episode. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So, see ya!